How's it going, guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Um, yeah, it's actually a thing. This movie exists. It is no longer just a urban legend on the internet. Um, so, well, yeah, people were talking about this for years. So I have seen it. Cam hasn't. Oh, the, the movie. Yeah, the movie like coming out has just been speculated and speculated and rewritten like thousands of times. Um, I want to tell you my perspective on, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So, I was in, like, fourth or fifth grade when it, the game came out originally. I, um, played it, and I loved the original game when I was in, like, middle school, like, sixth or early middle school, fifth and sixth grade, and then I forgot about it. Like, I, I, I knew about the lore, I knew about all that stuff, and I knew about the fandom for a while, but, um, I never, I never really paid any interest into it until last year when, or earlier this year maybe, it was, like, late last year, earlier this year when the movie was confirmed, um, and we started to see trailers for it where I was, I, I kind of got more interested in the lore, and, uh, Cam told me a lot about it at prom weekend last year. Um, yeah, that was, her, that was, like, her thing for a week, was mm -hmm. FNAF lore, but, um, so that's my perspective coming into this movie. I'm not a huge fan of the games, even now. Like, I think I kind of think the, not. I'm not going to poke that uh, bee's nest. But uh, I, I, I personally just haven't played anything but the original, and I know like the spark notes of the lore. So going into this movie, all I really wanted was for them to capitalize on the concept. The concept for Five Nights at Freddy's works in the, the framing of like a pg-13 horror movie this they could have pulled this off especially with uh matthew lillard and joss hutchinson both being in the movie and the girl from you she's pretty i like her and everything she's in she's pretty good um this movie should have been at least fine it should have been hey that was okay it was not um I'm sure you have seen the reviews for the, uh, this thing. It is a mess. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie does not do much of anything for me. So, my main gripe with excuse me, uh, this movie is that they were trying to do too many things at once. They were trying to please hardcore fans by trying to string in as much lore as humanly possible. They were trying to... Um, attract like a, a younger crowd to you know get them to see this movie there were, was a, a surprising amount of little kids in the theater where, where i was where i was at um and they are trying to appeal to just horror fans like just people you know moviegoers that go and see horror movies on halloween weekend um and obviously this movie can make a lot of money but i feel like a lot of people are walking out of it disappointed because it just doesn't hit the mark it it has fine ideas it has good moments there were moments that were kind of scary there were moments where i was interested in the lore josh hutchinson does his best um, matthew lillard is fantastic in the movie so it has elements of stuff that i like in it but it also just fails at every level to be one coherent and two entertaining because look I was not looking for this to be the best horror movie all year. I was not looking for this to, like, you know, bring horror out of its rut that it's been firmly placed in throughout 2023. But I didn't expect this to be this bad. Because it... It did, like... It didn't even deliver on the kind of middle school horror that they were, they were shooting for, right? So... I, well, the entire time while I was watching this movie, I was comparing it in my head to the It 2017 version. I was in seventh grade when that movie came out. It was one of the most popular movies in middle school. Even though it was rated R, we all saw it, we all snuck it, and, you know, and we loved it. And everybody talked about that movie. With this movie, it, 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 it fails to do what that did. Because that spoke to, you know, especially boys in their, like, in young adolescence, because that's what the characters were portraying um and it felt genuine and and it felt like it, it was coming from a place that cared this movie just feels slapped together to take money from people uh it, it really just falls into the cliches of the blumhouse horror movies with the 
jump scares and the you know non-atmosphere and very incoherent screenwriting. I mean, this movie tries to tie in to the games. It tries to tie in a lot of lore, but um, it's just incoherent. Like this, ugh, I don't know. This movie could have been pretty creative. It could have been like a fun internet thing that kind of like kind of like the Mario movie. Or, or stuff like that, where it's like, yeah, that wasn't the greatest movie ever, but I liked it because this, like, exists, and it gave me what I wanted. This movie, I feel like even for diehard uh, FNAF fans, doesn't give the audience what it wants. It just gives them a very plain, um, confusing horror film that just misses the mark. It, 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 it's, it's so cliche, it's so bland, but at the same time, it's so ridiculous, and there is so much corny dialogue in this movie. Um, I wrote in my letterbox review that I it, this movie makes me happy that I'm no longer in middle school because it rem it was it felt as insecure and awkward and unfunny as like me in seventh grade. So yeah, I don't know. This was this was a nostalgia trip that kind of kind of went. Uh, I'm going to give the Five Nights at Freddy's movie like a strong D plus to like a light C minus. This was, this was not great. Uh, pretty disappointed by this one. Yeah, this is one of my more kind of negative, like more dour reviews just because, I, I don't know, I, I expected this to be marginally better than it was. Uh, have you guys seen the FNAF movie? What are your thoughts on five, on, you know, all of the Five Nights at Freddy's crap? Please let me know. Um, Cameron, do you have anything to say to add at the end? I'm saying it later today, and I think it's going to be awesome, and I'm going to 